Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as UFN News. Today is October the 18th, 2020. Here we are today, giving you all the update on VeChain, as well as giving you a better understanding as to what the trap is going to do in the market for this particular cryptocurrency going forward. Now, if this is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate the content, our speech, our simplicity of what we're expecting the market to do. Before you go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. You can also join us on our other social media platforms, um, Twitter, Facebook, also on the gram. We got our own website as well, ufinancial.com. You all can join there, you know, to make sure you stay a part of our community and stay updated on any of the information that we are noticing on the price chart. So let's get started. You all can see right here on our price chart that we did not place a forecast in V chain. The reason being because we really weren't expecting too much to go on into the market and in this currency and every opportunity is also the prospect of not actually having to put in a forecast so what i'm simply saying is that every time you look into a market doesn't mean that you need to go in and buy or sell you know you just want to come in look at the surrounding area what's going on in the market and if you don't see anything then you just simply step away and wait until you see something actually occur in a market that you can play on so that's why on October the 11th, we didn't play the market in VeChain. There wasn't anything there for us to act on. So one thing that we need to talk about today, though, that you all can see is that what has changed? That is the question that you need to answer for yourself. Something has changed into the market in VeChain since our last video on October the 11th. And if you said that the movement higher outside of this descending line is what changed then you are correct the market trap is showing us that he doesn't want to drop the market any lower than what occurred on october the 7th now that doesn't mean we're not out the woods yet and the reason why i say that is because yes we are breaking this descending line higher but the volume is not appearing to make it convincing enough to say that yes we're done with lower prices okay so it is positive to see the market go higher from this descending line, but we're not out the woods yet. So what this tells me is that we're going to hold consolidation of trading a little bit longer in the market for the chain. OK, it's positive. It's, it's a turn in the road for us to continue to see at least consolidation of trading rather than this continual movement to the downside in V chain. OK. So. Let's take a look at the market in each channel on a three day chart. And you guys can see right here that yes, the market currently is doing a fantastic movement higher in price. We are breaking that descending line into the market in V chain. And we're actually going, going to change this descending line and make it into one of support. Okay. So where do you think the market support is at in V chain? That is the question that we want you all to try to figure out for yourselves. Okay. Let's take a look at the market real quick on the five day time frame and the market here looks real well. I mean, we still have three days and seven hours left. So this current price bar is not concrete. It's not finished. So we really cannot be too dependent on the market in V chain. But for the time being, the market looks real well. OK, it looks great. Now, one penny is where the market support currently is. If you guys said a penny is where the market area support is being then you are correct. That is the area to which the trap has came in and kept the market from actually going below. So we need to focus on that going forward into the market in the chain. One penny. Here we are looking at the market in the chain on the weekly time frame. The market looks real good here too. For us to be closing on the high of the bar this current week on light volume tells us that at least we're going to hold one penny, maybe even 0.011 as support okay so the market here doesn't look all that weak as what we endured back in august when the market and v chain started going lower so that's positive so what we're going to do into the market and v chain on this particular forecast package is that we're going to continue to play some strength into the market and v chain but let me preface that i want you all to relax and calm down i'm not saying that we're going to shoot to the moon not at all but if anything, we're going to hold to some consolidational trading. So, yes, within that consolidational trading range, OK, we're going to play the movement higher. One penny is support of that consolidational range. 
Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, and then we're gonna draw another area of support into the market in VeChain. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna increase it up just a little bit higher, right there around that 0 0.011. That's a nearer term area support. Okay, so we're gonna hold that there for VeChain. And we are going to show you all the restriction area, okay? Now the restriction area in the market in VeChain it's right here, which we are nearly there now, 0 0.012. That area is restriction, but I won't be surprised to see the market try to come up there and tag 0 0.013, you know, like a very quick touch, and then we'll see the market and V-chain come back down, okay? So those are two restriction areas that we need to address in the market for V-chain. So we said that 0 0.012 is a restriction area, but also we can see around this 0 0.013 area for restriction as well in VeChain. Okay. So you might actually get to see some people on uh, this particular platform play the weakness. They might still say that the market in VeChain is still hinting at some lower price, but at least on a daily time frame, we can see some movement higher to the upside for the chain all right so let's go ahead and bring this up just a tad higher so this is our forecast this is what we're going to play in our expectations as to what we want the trap to do over the next couple of trading days we're playing some of the strength into the market in the chain right so let's go ahead and do that now And we already stated that 0 0.011 needs to be held as support, right? And 0 0.013 is where we'll TP the market at in V chain. Even though the restriction area is at 0 0.0135. Okay, so this is it. This is our updated price prediction market forecast for V chain. We're looking for the market to go higher. Now it's your turn. We definitely like to see your expectations into the market for VeChain. Let us know what you guys are seeing into the market. For us, we're still seeing consolidational trading for the most part, but within that range, we're just going to play a little bit of strength. Okay, not bullishness, but just expecting a trap to increase the value of VeChain just a little bit higher. Tell us yours. Give us your TP price as well as your prediction in VeChain. We need to be there before the trap actually brings the price to that level in order for us to profit into the market. Questions, comments, let us know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And again, we'll talk on our next video.